Welcome to another day of devotion. And today we're talking about appreciating those in full-time ministry. The passage we're going to read here in a second, it's a little bit long. I may skip some of it, but the message is simple. Ministers and leaders, pastors and preachers, evangelists and effective ministry leaders who work vocationally in the ministry deserve your respect, your thanks, both in words and in funding. 1 Corinthians 16, 15 through 18 says this, you know that Stephanus and his household were the first of the harvest of believers in Greece, and they're spending their lives in service to God's people. I urge you, dear brothers and sisters, to submit to them and others like them who serve with such devotion. I'm very glad that Stephanus, Fortunus, and Achaeus, Achaeus have come here. They've been providing the help you work here to give me. They've been a wonderful encouragement to me as they have been to you. You must show your appreciation to all who serve so well. Think of those who so often do God's work in your place. Love and respect them. Our theme verse for 1 Corinthians, and we'll only be doing this one more day, is 1 Corinthians 2, 1 and 2. When I first came to you, dear brothers and sisters, I didn't use lofty words and impressive wisdom to tell you God's secret plan. I decided while I was with you, I'd forget everything except Jesus, the one who was crucified. No, I have worked with many youth ministers in my long career in youth ministry, and I've appreciated every one of them. Even, you know, there's even been some, some of them who have kind of like gone what? But I still appreciate them. They're giving their lives to the ministry. It's not, a, it's not a wealthy life. It's not a life where you're making a zillion dollars. It's a life where you're working long hours with a lot of people yelling at you. Um, love people. Respect them. Hug on them. Take care of them. Father, thank you for the ministers, the pastors, the preachers, the evangelists, the leaders that are giving their lives in service to you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm really thankful for them. And I'm thankful for you listening to this. We're going to finish 1 Corinthians in tomorrow's day of devotion. I hope you'll be here with us. We'll talk to you then. Bye.